you know, Callum, for you, you know, what what are the knock what are the knocks that you go through? What are the you know what what happen, did they happen on a daily basis? Is there something that you know you think? Um, knocks to begin with were finance. Um, the bank I've well, the bank I've been with for twenty seven years wouldn't fund anything in the business when we originally started uh, early two thousand and nine. Um, we asked them for five thousand pounds, which wasn't a huge sum again. Um, the business at the time, we were told, wasn't viable. There was no profit in it. Um, we wouldn't make any money. The cash flow forecast, we'd never do a £1,000 a week for a new business. Um, in two years, we've put £194,000 through that bank account. It's never been in the red once. It's always been positive balance. Um, We've technically made profit, but we've made no money because we've reinvested it back into the business. Um, but again, it, it's the starting block for probably a lot of people is trying to, it's, it's the cash flow forecast that get me because anybody can just sit there and guess on paper what you're going to do. And that, that's all it is, it's guesswork and I'm going to do this tomorrow, I'm going to do that next week. Um, and it's unfortunate that's all the banks look at. I had a, uh, I think it was a 28 page business plan going into the remanufacturing side, the recycling side, how much the remanufacturing industry puts into the UK economy on a, a yearly basis, which goes into the billions, it, it's a lot of money in it. Um, and then my business manager I'd been dealing with for seven months when she came to see us in the unit, actually thought we did tables because she'd never read our business plan. And when she came in to see us and she's like, so do you make these benches and that here? I'm like, what, what? And it's like, no, tables, it's table connect. She hadn't even, I mean, table connect, table connect, it's in big red letters, you, you can't miss it. And it just shows how, how limited they are. All they want to say, it doesn't matter what you put into your business plan, is what that cash flow says at the end of that. You might as well just give them one piece of paper. That, that was one of the hurdles. And to actually stand there in front, I thought she was joking and she actually thought we produced tables and she'd been dealing with our account for seven months and this is a the lady that had apparently fought their risk team to try and get us some financing because we could sell 20 tables a month <laughs> um you know and, and again when you look at that they were talking the profit margin we can make 200 pound profit on each sale that we do when you've got a woman like that fighting your side and trying to say that we can make 200 pound profit on a table that we never actually made. And there's, there's daft little things like that. You, you get the wall barrier on it, but banking is the worst side of it, I think. Um, I know now they've been, they've, well, they're supposed to be been told to give money out to businesses, haven't they? That's what they've been said, yeah. You know, we, we got refused a loan two weeks ago and we've got a viable business product. We've proven it over two years and they're still sort of humming and hiring which a lot of people will get from start off. It depends on what you need to start off, to be honest with you. But there's a lot of hurdles out there, most of the finance. But you don't let it stand in the way? No, no, bollocks to them. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it is a thing, if, if you want them to do it, you need to do it. Um, it's like Chris, Michael, you're not going to be satisfied. You know, I did jobs over the years that were crap, but you have to have money coming in. I had an opportunity and I took it slightly, pushed into it, but I took it because it was there. Um, I think we've both done the same type of thing. Um, no, no, I think you've got to, you've got to take it. Do you see any hurdles, Chris, ever? Do nah. you see any barriers? <laughs> yeah, of course. Starting of ours, my idols are people, trusting other people, where that, that's probably the only advice I give people. If you're going into business with anybody, Make sure you read all the documentation and, and you know exactly where you stand with that people. And I say our knock was really when we set up Cornerstone, the, the old employer, um, we had a meeting with them when we were moving and we, 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 we had this meeting to discuss that we would work together going forward. It was best for us to, to, to move away because of what's happened. We agreed that and behind our back, that, that's when he wrote to all of our customers to say that we'd, we'd robbed his business and, and everything else. And that's when the injunction started, so then you're at court you're looking at losing your house, you're looking at going bankrupt, personally bankrupt, you're looking at 85 grand personal suing for damages. And you think, oh, poo. 
What, what, <laughs> and, and I think that was the worst thing of, of this went up to county court in, in Newcastle and, and then you, you're paying some barrister, 13 grand to, to come on the chain and when he arrives he's a, he's a kid with his brolly and his little bag and he's like, hello, and you're like, who's this? And this is a guy that's going to represent us to, to whether or not I lose everything. Obviously I didn't tell the wife I was going to lose everything and, and everything else, but it, it, it was a worry, but that was the trust in somebody within a meeting of not getting the document signed there and then. It was the handshake, the thing, yeah, okay, I trust you, let's move on. Luckily this, this little guy, this kid was fantastic and wiped the floor uh, of, of the thing and it was found out they lied and because luckily there's been an IT company, a lot of these things happened via email and we kept them and so that showed up in court that, that we were in the right and so that was a big sigh of relief and a good jinky poo was on that night. Um, but from there, we progressed, it was for me again trusting somebody else that was a friend that again took a share of the company but it was it was done in their interest and, and we found out lots of other bits and bobs so it, for me it's, it's, it's trusting people of, of making sure we, you're with the right people and you trust them 100% uh, and again that ended up with us buying them out um, over a year and a bit now um, but from a friend and a trust he, he cost us £134,000 so yeah don't like him very much <laughs> well, I've seen counselling to stop that rage. <laughs> Which uh, I'll see him again next week because the kids start cricket again, and he's the uh, the chairman of the cricket club. So every time now we paint. So if anybody so if, if yeah. anybody's not doing anything next week, then where is it? <laughs> St Stockton Cricket Club. Stockton Cricket uh, Club. It's where you want to be. So, so for me, yeah, it's it's the trusting of people. Look, look at your team. I've got a fantastic. I say I went in fifteen years and, and 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 trust them massively and. And now we've moved away from all that. We're not obviously inviting people to come in unless they've got pots of cash and everything signed and, and sealed and, and delivered. But these things, you know, these challenges, you know, they've clearly, never, they've clearly not, not put any of you off. I mean, have, have you ever thought of chucking it in or is it always that dogged determination? For me, no, I mean, it's... it's I mean, I, I love my work, you know, I'm, I'm always determined to get to the, the, the next step, you know. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just constantly out to think of new ideas, you know. I mean, this morning, for instance, I had a few hours spare. Uh, so I made, I made a Guinness fudge. So that's, that's my new line. Um, so I've always got these ideas. I mean, I'll wake up in the middle of the night, I'll write down some, something new or, you know, just something different, you know. But I just, I just constantly keep that to myself. <coughs> Chris. I, I'm loving no, the whole thing, yeah. yeah. After after 12 months, uh, my old employer, not the one that took me to court, the one before then, uh, offered me a million pounds for the business. So within 12 months, you're thinking, well, a million quid, and I said, no, I'm better than you. Uh, we've won awards, you haven't. Uh, I'm, I'm going to grow it further and further. Have and you uh, won any awards, Chris, by the way? Just yeah, we, we, <laughs> we have, yeah, we've won a few, which uh, we haven't gone for any this year, because uh, all of our awards happened in a very short period. But uh, no, for me, it's I'm enjoying it. Um, just being on a daily basis of doing it. Um, I, I don't like going on holiday because I get bored. I need to be doing something. I need to be selling something. I need to be thinking of another idea of where to go. And, and I get a buzz from it. And, and I, want to, I want to set up, if possible, 35 companies um, and be involved with them all. Everything we do, we get an idea, set the way for the time, even for ourselves having childcare. Why don't you go and share? We'll set up a, a childcare business. And she's like, I don't want to do it. I'm like, yeah, but think of the money we can make. And, and our work plans yeah, out and stuff. And it's I just not just the money, it. it's just to get her out of the Yeah, hair, get, get her out of the house as well. <laughs> and get her out of Cornerstone into another business that I'm not involved in on a daily basis. But uh, I've, I've got the bug. Love it. Um, and I just want to do more. Callum. No, no I'm happy with what I do. Um, I couldn't envisage me working for somebody else ever again. Uh, if this failed, I'd have to do something else. I couldn't have somebody else above me telling me what to do again. Well, not for long. I'd be there for a couple of days, if that, before I planted somebody and walked out. Apart from the wife. That as well, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. No, it's, I think one, once you've got the bug to do it, it it's different. Um, 
you're always involved with it, but you can switch off now and again. Um, I mean, I, I still get people saying to me now that I'm a businessman. I still don't class myself as a businessman. All I'm doing is I'm going to work each day, I'm bringing them some, some money home, um, and the wife and kids spend it. You know, I'm, I still haven't got that, similar to you with being a director and stuff. Um, technically, I am, but I'm not. I'm just keeping my family. Um, I do all the business stuff with it, so I, it's there, but I think it's because I enjoy it so much that it's not, it's not a chore. Um, it's not a job. I still love the fact that every single turbo that I sell is one less coming out of my ex-employer's pocket. Um, and I still smile and thank him for making me redundant um, each time I send one out the door. And I still get the buzz of doing it. Um, come home filthy, take the wife out for a meal with black fingernails, which obviously get moaned at all the time. Um, but I'm doing it myself. You know, I'm not just coming home and getting a couple hundred quid to be paid to do it. Everything that we make on it, we either spend it or put it back in the business, but it's mine. You know, everything in the business there, it's bought and paid for, it's mine, I own it. Um, as I say, walk away from it tomorrow and not owe a penny out, which not many people can say in business, but I could walk away from the whole lot tomorrow and we've still got the house and no bills. Um, but no, no, I'd, I couldn't work for somebody else now. I'd be, I'd be the worst employee in the world. I'd be a complete twat. Um, <laughs> because you, you get to that level, you, you do, don't you? You couldn't do it. You couldn't work for somebody else tomorrow. The thing is, definitely with me, I, I teach my salespeople how to skive. How, how, how to nick off early in the Friday and go to the pub. And, and they look at me and go, why are you telling me this? Well, if you do your figure, you can do what you want. That's, yeah. that's what I try and tell them. And, and, and that's all you need to do. Go and do your figure and, and, and then do whatever you want. I said, I'm not bothered if you want to go on, on, on the drink all day Friday. If you're doing your figure, do what you want. And, and that's what I try and teach them. Job I and knock, we call it. Job and knock. <laughs> well, working for someone else, yeah. I'd, I'd just be scarving all the time and trying to make a few quid at, on the side as well. So. <laughs>